I've actually been doing TV since my work with the Women's Legal Education and Action Fund, LEAF, um, in the mid-90s. I, I became their chief spokesperson mostly because I was willing to do it. So I've, I have had media exposure and you can say on-the-job training actually for a lot longer than I've been a law professor. The lead time for television is anywhere from two to 48 hours. It depends on what you're talking about. Is it a clip for a CBC reporter like Julie Van Dusen where she's got a file by 11 a.m. and she really wants to get a clip review that she can somehow use in, in her story and she'll come to where you are? Is it a spot on CTV news channel? Is it Canada AM where they want you to come in at 7.15 and do literally a 30 second to three minute spot? Is it Power Play with Don Martin? Is it Evan Solomon? Is it The National where Terry Malefsky came to my house on a Sunday and, and interviewed me and then used really a very, very brief clip? Um, it, it, it really depends and that is what drives how much time you have. So they will be going through their list trying to find someone who picks up the phone or calls them back and says, yeah, I can do that. So the first thing is you've got to have the time to do it. In a way, doing it where it's um, very immediate it helps with the nerves because you barely have time to think about it. You know, they call you at 9 a.m. and by 11 it's all over and they've got their clip and they'll use it or not, which also sometimes happens that other things can, uh, can crowd out the stuff that they've done with you. Um, if it's a little more lead time, of course, then you have the opportunity to prepare a little bit, but also to get more nervous. For some interviews, because of timing issues and availability issues, they will pre-tape. Uh, so many of these shows, so a show like Canada AM generally won't, it's live, but a show, uh, a news, a political news show may pre-tape because of the availability of the, of the speaker. Um, and what that means is there'll be a chance for some editing, which is great uh, in that you have a chance for a do-over and if you know that it's what well, we call it live to tape if you know that that's um, what they're doing uh, then and you feel that you've sort of tripped up it's perfectly all right to say do you mind if I just if I just restate that or can I start over they're, per they're, they're quite happy with that live in a sense is the uh, is the scariest I suppose because there are no do-overs but it's also the most exciting and and it's done and it tends to be really fast because unlike the, the pre-tape where they can actually talk to you for 20 minutes uh, about something, um, it's very rare to have that kind of live segment go on for more than six or seven minutes.